Hey there, folks. We're, uh, I'm not going to be able to cover Next Fest because I'm actually going to be going on a trip. So uh, what I wanted to do was do a fairly informal video highlighting a bunch of games that I'm looking forward to. So uh, appropriately titled, this is a bunch of games I'm looking forward to in no particular order. Uh, their genre is not cohesive nor related. Um, I, they're not in any particular order of quality. There will be links in the descriptions for all of the Steam pages as well as chapters so you can skip along if you want. But I just want to highlight some uh, some trailers, talk about the games, why I'm looking forward to them, and that's it. And maybe you can go and wishlist those games and look forward to them for the same reasons I'm looking forward to them because they look very interesting. So the first game I'm looking forward to in this list is hibernaculum which i guess content warning sorry about that but uh yeah creator from uh, of primordia if you've never played primordia primordia was a click point and click adventure and it was actually very opaque at least for me i i struggled with it but um i did really appreciate the vibe the storytelling and um the visuals of it this is a dungeon crawler from what i can tell and it also looks like it's going to have some puzzle solving in maybe the same uh, brand as Primordia, but uh, I do love a dungeon crawler and uh, I, I'm looking forward to this because it just looks bizarre. Um, it's got some really shocking and stunning visuals. It's got some of that classic dungeon crawling combat as well as kind of a skulking around a bizarro sci-fi facility and it definitely has some of them uh, Geiger vibes that I have come to really love and appreciate. So I'm I'm looking forward to this. It could be a lot of fun or it could be super, super difficult. Uh, one or the other. I, I either bounce off of dungeon callers or I really love them. This next one's going to feel maybe a bit mainstream from coming from me, but uh, I've seen a lot of kind of weird mixed opinions about this. I'm actually looking forward to the Indiana Jones game, and I'll tell you a couple of reasons why. Um, I haven't watched the most recent Indiana Jones movie, and I don't think I really plan on it. It just didn't really inspire me to, to go and see a movie. I don't know what it is, but it just feels like sequelitis is, is really struck me as, as uh, feeling unmotivated. But this game, for some reason, I'm very interested in for a couple of reasons. One of them being, uh, it looks like kind of a classic indie story, like it's it's going for a much more retro vibe than uh, maybe the most recent movie. Um, and it's, I know it's coming from Bethesda, but it's coming specifically from the devs, I think, or the studio that made the Wolfenstein games, which I think were actually quite good. Um, so they're, they're, they're going for something specific here. Now, I know a lot of people were like, kind of weirdly frustrated the, about the fact that it wasn't in third person. I don't need this game to be in third person for a couple of reasons. I don't think it benefits necessarily from it. Um, a lot of people said it doesn't need to be necessarily just uncharted again. I don't, I'm not going to get into that conversation, but for me personally, I, I think that this game will be fine in first person. They've shown how like the whip mechanics work in first person. I think that will be pretty fun. Um, they've shown like basically it almost has like immersive sim vibes the way you're using the whip and like guns and combat and various tools and trinkets and toys to uh, to kind of navigate around people. So I think that uh, all of those things combined will actually make it a really enjoyable first person game. So for me personally, I don't need I don't need it to be in third person at all. Um, but uh, I'm just looking forward to a cool story and, uh, you know, with some kind of like retro Indiana Jones vibes. Um, and yeah, just like beat up Nazis is always fun. So I, I don't really see the complaint. And honestly, from the studio it's coming from, I, I kind of feel like it will have a, a pretty good quality to it. Um, it's one of the very few times where like a AAA game makes me feel like it'll actually live up to, you know, what it's showing off. But uh, maybe I'm completely off base on this one. Let me know in the comments. I don't know. Are you looking forward to this one? Uh, this one I am super looking forward to. And it only comes out next month. So I won't be waiting all that long. I kind of want to do a series on it. But um, it feels like one of those games I'm going to do a series on. And, and it'll it'll bounce off pretty, pretty hard. I don't think it'll find its audience. But uh, this game is Pacific Drive. And it's basically a, a driving sim. It almost looks like, like a, a light version of My Summer Car. 
but you're in the zone or like the stalker universe you're basically in a a weird contaminated anomaly infested zone uh filled with like weird creatures weird kind of happenings it has like this alien vibe it's got this kind of intrigue vibe and i love the fact that it's it's very focused on like upgrading and maintaining your car so it kind of gives you something to to you know progress something to to work on over time but then it's got this weird mysterious story that you're like working through and you're getting closer to some kind of secret lab um i just love the look of this game and i love the thing you know the the kind of theme that they're they're building on i i've i'm actually really enjoying the the how much like stalker is is kind of uh playing on or uh, being played on or is influencing other games I, I don't know if it's just stalker but basically that kind of vibe uh, things like Into the Radius, uh, like which was a VR game, is actually getting a sequel, and it's you know like there's it, there's very obvious parallels between this and like the Stalker universe, and I've been really enjoying having just stepped into that whole uh, you know community or uh, that world. Uh, I'm really enjoying like just learning more and seeing more of that. It's not your kind of typical apocalypse, which I, I really appreciate. But this comes out wow, like February. Yeah, it's like. In a couple of weeks, I'm really looking forward to that one. Again, there's no thematic order to this, so what you get is what you get. But this is uh, a Transylvania adventure of Simon's Quest or something. <laughs> like, it's got a very truly deranged name. And in fact, its theming and uh, con concept on paper is deranged. And that's why I'm really looking forward to it. It looks like basically uh someone's uh, you know an indie teams or uh, even indie solos attempt at making a good castlevania simon's quest game um it just has a lot of strange things going on it definitely i think i saw like a fishing mini game uh there's definitely a minecart thing going on they're looking for they're looking to hit like that um castlevania one and two vibe so less a metroidvania more a linear adventure with some kind of um, not quite precision platforming but just a lot of like a mishmash of lots of different kind of mechanics and stuff so i think that'll be a lot of fun you'll have to forgive me for this one if you don't have vr and you have no interest in vr but uh, i do have an interest in vr and you know, it, it kind of sucks that half the VR games are basically relegated to, uh, you know, Facebook's uh, headset. So I'm, I'm going to take this opportunity to throw some shade at them. It sucks that a very, very niche community is split in half. That sucks. But um, this will be a game that's uh, available uh, for all headsets. Um, this is Heartshot, and it is on Steam. And I'm looking forward to this. I'm looking forward to most narrative-based uh, VR games and I do actually quite like gunplay in VR. It's quite a bit of fun. I'm not very good at it But I usually enjoy it and I do like how um, VR games are kind of learning from each other. There's definitely been a lot of influence from uh, Half-Life Alex in like how you interact and with objects and pick them up and stuff and this looks like it's definitely taking influence there So I'm, I'm looking forward to that. It looks like a, a kind of a linear narrative this one's kind of an obvious one, but uh, like a lot of people have been giving this game some love and uh, I, I'm, I'm no different, but this is Manor Lords um, from Hooded Horse. Hooded Horse have just a ridiculously good track record. I have honestly loved pretty much every game that they've put out and uh, and this, this looks no different. Manor Lords is just an insanely ambitious looking game. It looks like it's got a little bit of Mountain Blade in it. It's got a little bit of city building in it. It's got a little bit of Colony Sim in it. And uh, I'm, I'm actually really looking forward to it. I, I love the fact that they have, they let you uh, have curved roads. It seems to me there have been so many games that look exactly like this. I know it's such a small nitpick, but for real, it always bothers me with these kind of like city town builders, how uh, you can't have curved roads. But like... For real, this game looks like really ridiculously ambitious, but I think it might actually um, nail the landing. I don't know what gives me that kind of uh, confidence in it, but something about its its uh, various mechanics, its various uh, systems that are already feel like really good. It just looks good. It looks really good, and I know that people have been 
uh, really like enjoying the demo and, and what they've seen. I, I actually really wanted to, to play the most recent demo in Next Fest, so I'm kind of sad I'm going to miss out on this one. But uh, uh, here's hoping that I get to do a series on this. I don't know if um, I don't know if it'll if it'll land for my my audience, but uh, this this game just looks like it's going to be a lot of fun. So there's been a lot of uh, simulators that I'm kind of looking forward to, but also like games that are less simulator, but like are kind of hitting that simulator vibe. This is one of those Star Trucker just looks to me like it's going to be uh, an absolute blast. Raw Fury is another one of those uh, companies that just seems to put out banger after banger game. And this game just, I don't know what it is. It really, uh, it really inspires me. I love uh, trucking games in general. I don't know what like they just have this really satisfying progression of like First renting your truck then buying your truck then managing a truck uh, company And I also love trading in space games So the idea of a game just doing trading just doing kind of convoys and also hitting that kind of truck sim uh, Level progression really appeals to me. So I'm, I'm really looking forward to Star Trucker I really love this trend of like, hey, Nintendo, you won't make the game, so we're gonna anyway. Like, this is a Aero GPX, and um, it, I'm looking forward to this. It actually looks like it's gonna be innovating quite a bit on uh, the F-Zero X genre, or F-Zero genre. Um, F-Zero is just one of those, I, I would call it its own genre because though it is a racing game, it's got a lot of its own kind of style and voice and character. And uh, this looks like it's building on that quite a bit. It's definitely uh, bringing, bringing its own mechanics and its own uh, kind of unique style to it. But uh, it still looks like it has that F Zero flavor that uh, will will make you feel right at home if it's uh, if F Zero is your your kind of game. I've been really enjoying this. I really enjoyed Ballistic NG, which was kind of. Um, hitting that that uh, wipeout vibe so i'm looking forward to this for the same reason i hope it hits that f-zero vibe but maybe um also makes it a bit more accessible but uh, you know still has that kind of like learning curve but it looks like a lot of fun and it looks like it's uh, like the art style in general just i don't know it, it it looks really good it almost has that kind of like um jet uh, jet set vibe it's a cell shading for sure that does that but um, I don't know. It, it's just everything about this looks like a lot of fun. So I'm, I'm looking forward to this one. So th this is Mouse. And I, I love what this game is doing. It's going for like a classic, uh, like pre, like honestly, a Steamboat Willie vibe. But, but uh, this game was actually in development like uh, for a good year or two before uh, Steamboat Willie hit public domain. So it's not really trying to do that trying to do its own thing it's it's going for like a, a classic wolfenstein style shooter uh with like looney tunes ish ish like uh or you know classic disney cartoon vibe a lot of people are gonna say hey it's a cuphead in uh, first person but i don't think that that's really fair and also i think Cup cuphead is more characteristic of its like difficulty than of its style so i'm looking forward to seeing what uh, what this one does and lastly, it takes a lot for me to be interested in a deck builder. I, I have, I've been very burnt out on the genre, but uh, when a game comes around and actually uh, makes me in motivated to play one, want to try one, I, it really must be said that they're, they're going above and beyond. It looks like it's doing a lot of things different. Um, it definitely looks like it's still hitting the same kind of like uh, tabletop card game vibe, but it's definitely doing a lot of new things and uh, that counts for a lot these days. That'll just about do it. Um, there's definitely way, way more games that I I am looking forward to. I'm always looking forward to games. It's, it's kind of insane these days how often like amazing games are coming out almost like every day. In fact, almost every day there's like multiple games coming out that I'd like to check out. Uh, let me know if this kind of format works for you because it's uh, fairly easy for me to put together. And uh, you'll find the links in the description for all of these games as well as chapters. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. If you want to hit the like button, I'd uh, really appreciate it. And uh, consider subscribing for more of this, hopefully.